I'm Teddy Haggerty. I was informed of this project right when I got back from Los Angeles. I was down doing a movie. It's going to be gone for two weeks. Three months later, I wind up back in town. This is uh, a, a, called a chalk off. It's a, uh, in a way, a public art project that everyone can participate in, draw with chalk. This is a, a thing that's really good. Yes, Ancient art it. form brought back uh, in, in current usage. And you can probably trace it to uh, Hopi. Uh, art, sand paintings, uh, Tibetan sand paintings. So it has a rich uh, spiritual history as well as a very practical application. And people are young enough to remember chalkboards. It's how we learn things in school when we were educated. But this park is kind of special because it's to memorialize uh, fallen city workers, in particular Larry Frost, who was the first uh, Tacoma police officer killed in the line of duty. And that he was 29 years 29 years old, and that happened in 1977. So that's why this is called Larry Frost Park. So, kind of on a serious note, it's it's really neat that this is happening to a park named after Larry Frost. This event started about uh, 17 weeks ago, I believe, uh, as an idea to first take back this park, which was kind of an underused park. Um, the idea that Kevin Friedis had, uh, Kevin of Feed Tacoma, was to uh, let everyone have their sack lunches down here and enjoy the park. Well, Ryan Anderson, aka RR Anderson, had the idea to start a, a chalk competition here. And it just took off from there. The rules kind of developed as the weeks went on. And uh, the neat thing about this is that it's everyone from, I'd say, professional artists to People that just love art, even children, non-artists, everyone's welcome. That's what's been emphasized over the last 17 weeks was that anyone can come and participate. There's always free chalk here for people to pick up. It's just a really neat way to spend a Friday lunchtime. The first about nine episodes, the city considered uh, our event graffiti, and they would spray wash uh, our uh, items off the wall every week. But now we're, we've now officially become an art form. So from episodes about 9 to 17, uh, the city has been very, very supportive of us. And uh, so it, it's worked out pretty well. The Olympian newspaper recently did have a, a blip about Frost Park being the inspiration for doing some chalking down there. So it's been interesting to see how even with blog activity and, and this being supported with you know photos and all that sort of thing, um, that it kind of spreads around to not only other cities, but we've had a lot of events in town that have all wanted to include chalk in them. I mean, almost every event this summer has said, we want to invite the chalk artists to come and do some work. first one that R.R. Anderson um, uh, started, started out with Tacoma Art Listserv and he just shouted out, said, hey, attention cowards, come down for a chalk off at noon. We're going to have a, a, uh, a, what is it, a high noon. So he kind of just called us artists out. Some of us showed up and he got things going and just ever since then it just, uh, well, it, it drew attention to uh, the artists that are living right in the area. And, it encouraged us uh, uh, shut-ins, as artists often are, to come out of our shells and come out in the public and and uh, share what we can do with everybody else. Just you know, put up some good temporary artwork for people to enjoy. And... Well, uh, a couple of reasons I uh, I like to practice yeah. sketching because it's something I need to improve on, and I'm an artist, so it makes a good opportunity. But probably way more than that is the opportunity to be connected with community. I think it's great that we're reclaiming this area and making it friendly for the family and just fun for a day to come down and see what's going on. <laughs> 